Hi everyone, welcome to Google Ads course and in this video today is the first day so today I am going to discuss about why Google Ads, what is the time investment that you will need, I will give a small dashboard walkthrough and finally we will talk about the next step. So Google Ads if you talk about digital marketing it forms a major part of digital marketing, any role in digital marketing that you plan to do will require a 50-60% investment of your time to work on Google Ads because Google Ads, Facebook Ads, Major Affiliate Network these are two or three things that you work as a digital marketer here. And if I talk about the growth in digital marketing roles like I posted on the page as well they are somewhere close to 13-14 thousand openings right now for digital marketeers and these salary ranges they start from 4 to 5 lakh and then they go up to 20-30 lakh this is the year of work experience so Google Ads is a must know thing if you are planning to embark on your digital marketing journey now the time investment required from your end will be at least two to three hours on a weekly basis because the things that i'll be telling you or covering in this course will require a lot of hands-on and practice from your end like today if i'll do the dashboard walkthrough the a task on your end is to make sure that you are making your own Google Ads account and going through at least the documentation that has been shared. Finally, what we will do is that we will talk about the next steps. Next step in this case is that once you have completed uh, making your own Google Ads account, you have gone through the document, then you have to keep a watch on the Instagram page because there I will share what the next topic of the video is and how and when we are going to release it, what are some of the things required from your end. So not wasting too much time, let's start with the chapter 1 which is the basic Basically the dashboard walkthrough and what are the next steps at your end. So this is basically the interface of Google Ads and in this video I'll just give you a basic walkthrough of what this interface is and what are some of the key things that you should be looking at and that we will be covering in subsequent sessions. So first of all if you see this is the whole dashboard from where we go ahead and we launch the campaigns these campaigns can be google search campaign google video campaign google display campaign or a google app campaign now if you see here there are certain buttons that you should be aware of like if i go to tools and settings it basically gives you all the tools which are present in google ads it gives you option to build your audiences on google ads it also gives you option to do bulk action like if you want to create certain creatives in one go you can do it from here then there are other complex things that we will discuss such as measurement setup and billing is basically whatever bill you are going to make now if you go through this tool you will see that there are different campaign types audience and everything is here but to start with basically what you do is that you click on create then you click on create a campaign here you get all the option to create different campaigns type. This can be a sales campaign, a lead gen campaign, a website traffic. If you want people to download your app, you can go and get that campaign up as well. Then there are YouTube campaigns. So there are different campaigns type that you need to choose here. And once you choose a campaign type, that is when you then need to go ahead and set up that campaign as well. Like here I have just a second. Yeah. So see, if I go here, I create the campaign and my goal is engagement. I'll just continue here. It will ask me that which type of campaign I want to create. Now these are different campaign types that we'll explain later. But basically on the tool walkthrough, you should understand that once you click on create, then you get option to create different campaign types. These campaign type can be search, performance, max, display, shopping, demand, gen, video. Each of these I'll explain later. But yeah, these are all the campaign types which are present. Like for example, if I click on search campaign, then it will ask me that what is my end goal. Now end goal if you are a say advertiser who basically is selling something online you may be wanting that somebody comes to your website so that they can see the product they can buy the product. In your case it can be website visit. Then if you are a client who is having say a car washing company you want people to come and phone call you and maybe come ahead and go and make their booking so it can be that if you are somebody who is having a retail store you would like people to come and visit your store similarly if you have a mobile app then your end goal can be that people should be downloading my app and maybe going ahead and making some transaction on the app so say here if i select website visit it will ask me what's the website that i want people to come to so we have salaried academy here i'll just put it across yeah. salaryacademy.com okay now once i've chosen it uh, then i'll name this campaign and i'll click here continue now after continuing it will ask me what is my end goal what i want to focus on 
so i'll tell that maybe i want more conversions for conversions for me means that i want more core sales to happen so i click here then it will ask me what is the price that i'm willing to pay so in this case say i say that i want 50 rupees for one conversion to happen conversion in this case is that people are coming and purchasing the course and i'll go ahead and put next it will ask me which type of networks I want my ad to surface on. So there are multiple networks. First is search network. Second is display network. So in case of here, I have selected that I want my ad to go on search network and display network as well. It will ask that which all location I want to target. So since we are looking at India location, I'll just put in India and then languages. So languages can be English, Hindi or multiple languages are supported. You can select it from here. Then it will ask that what type of keywords I want in here. I can put in all the keywords that I'm planning to do. So this is how you broadly make a campaign. Now before logging on to the Google ads, what you need to do is that you need to create your own account and that account is created. If you go here, just a so this is the official website of Google ads and you can go here and you can sign in. You can sign in using your mail ID. Then you need to go ahead and make the first top up or the payment. And after that, you can start working on your campaign. Now campaign type I have already defined, but here to start with, maybe if you all are planning to learn, have a thousand rupees ka budget in your campaign so that you can try and test it out. Now the four campaign types we have discussed, there are a couple of resources also that you need to study before I come out with the second video and those are the resources around what is Google search campaign, what is Google video campaign, what is display campaign and finally what is Google app campaign. So right now you have seen the interface but this interface itself is too much complicated. You need to understand different buttons, what are their users, what are different features and functionalities. So before we start, we I request you to go through the Google search campaign document which is attached here so that you can have a read through and then once we create the campaign I'll be able to make you understand even better and also one thing that you should understand that while creating a campaign there are certain key levers that you have in your hand first key lever is basically the campaign type that you select once you have selected the campaign type then you need to select that which type of people you want to target so your targeting becomes important after that you also want to then tell and what is the budget that you want that campaign to run on? So budgeting also is very important. Finally, you come and you talk across what is the bid that you are willing to put. So why bid is important because Google ads run on an auction based process. So once you put in your ad there, your ad goes in the auction and it competes with other ads as well. In order for your ad to win, it should have a good and decent bid so that it can enter into auctions. You won't be paying the highest bid, but you will be paying the second highest bid in that auction. So that is why bid becomes very important and your budget becomes very important. The targeting that you are doing it becomes very important and most important aspect is the creatives as well so whatever you are writing in your ad copy whatever kind of videos you are creating that also plays a very important role so in subsequent videos what we'll be covering is that we'll be covering each of these campaigns type that is search video display and app campaigns we'll be covering what are the important levers what are some of the things that you should keep in mind when it comes to say measuring these campaigns how is the attribution done so those will be covered in subsequent videos but before the second video is out you have seen the interface there are only two things required at your end first is that you should be going ahead and creating your google ads account and second is there are some documents attached for search campaign which we'll cover in next video those are the things that you should be doing read a little bit about the search campaign and then we'll proceed about it in the next video i hope this content was useful